I'm Michelle Garcia. I am a journalist. I'm the editor of Mike.com's identity section, and I'm bisexual. My name is Hiroko Kuti. I am a sexologist. I'm a playwright. I'm an activist, scholar, and researcher, and I am bisexual. My name is Paul Nocera, and I'm the co-facilitator of By Request, and I'm bisexual. Early on when I was interviewing somebody at The Advocate, I was interviewing an old guy and he said, oh, it's great that there are lesbians at The Advocate. And I was like, I'm actually bisexual. And I felt like this weird, like almost guilt. And he was like, don't be ashamed. Do, like, be proud of that. Like, that's who you are. And I was like, oh my God, this old guy is awesome. And he is right. <laughs> it was right after I came out to my sister as gay because my attractions to men were so strong that I couldn't see anything else outside of that. And then I met this woman and we started dating and everything seemed to work. So I said, well, I guess I'm not gay. And since then, I was 19 years old, I'm 54 now, I've been bisexual. When I'm speaking to people who carry misunderstandings or misconceptions of, of bisexuals, oftentimes what I hear are things like, bisexuals have it easy. Because they are open to people across various genders, then they can have their cake and eat it too. They can splurge, just like being at a buffet and having uh, anything you want. When I hear that, one of the things I say is that, well, there's actually no sneeze guard on my sexuality. <laughs> uh, and so we exist in a world in which um, being open to that buffet makes you a target for attack. Because we live in a binary world. We live in a world that says you have to be this, you have to be that. You have to choose a side. You're either with us or you're against us. We have a health emergency right now for bisexual people with the disparities so high on all of these fronts from domestic violence to health disparities to psychological health. We want to see a more programmatic move on those fronts. I hope that the bisexual community inspires, not just for us, but for everyone regardless of how they identify sexually, the embrace of fluidity, the embrace of the both ends. Just being openly queer is sometimes the most, or openly bisexual, openly LGBT anything, can be the most radical thing a person can do, which is crazy, but it's true. It's the same thing, like I was, you know, it's being black and happy is radical. <laughs> being, you know, like trans and successful is a radical thing. Like. And it's crazy, but that's what we can do as a community is be happy and vocal and present and visible and help young people realize, no, you're not crazy. You're not alone. There are tons of us and it's totally cool. Like it's team B is great. <laughs>